Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. I hope you guys are doing great and enjoying this SQL interview preparation series. So guys, my agenda is to create a playlist which will be a compilation of around 50 SQL problems. And if you are preparing for any data interview for any of the data role for any of the company, be it Amazon, Google, Facebook, Tesla, or any big four or any service based company, you just need to refer these 50 problems even a night before and you can crack any of the interview. I can assure you that 100% of the problems related to SQL will be around these videos only. So do not worry about your SQL preparation part, leave it on me. You just need to subscribe analytics with Vipul and keep on learning. So guys, today I am back with another interesting problem. This problem has been part of Airbnb's business analyst interview and I really like this problem so thought of making a video on this. And in this video, we are going to discuss the problem statement and the step by step solution approach to the problem. So let's get started. So guys, the title of this problem statement is ranking most active guest and as part of the problem statement, it is mentioned over here that rank guests based on the number of messages that they have exchanged with the host. Guests with the same number of messages as other guests should have the same rank. Do not skip rankings if the preceding rankings are identical. And in the output section, we need to print the rank, the guest ID and the number of total messages that they have sent. And we need to order by the highest number of total messages first. Now let's have a quick look at the data set. So the name of the data set is Airbnb underscore contacts. And here we have so many data points. We have guest ID, host ID, listing ID, contact at, reply at, accepted at, booking at, checking, checkout, number of guests, number of messages. Now let's take a preview of this data set. All right. So we have all these data points. Now based on the problem statement, let's make some pointers that we are going to refer while writing the final solution. So first thing is we need to rank based on the basis of number of messages exchanged with the host, right? Second is Guest with the same number of messages as other guests should have the same rank. Now for ranking, we have three functions. We have three window functions. The first is rank. The second is dense rank and third is row number. So now let's read this part once again. So basically it is mentioned over here that guest with the same number of messages as other guests should have the same rank. And we do not want to skip the rankings if the preceding rankings are identical. So guys, it is mentioned that if two guests have the same ranking, for example, there are two guests, Vipul and Abhinav, and both of the guests have exchanged equal number of messages with the host. So their ranking will be same. Now, the third guest who has exchanged less number of messages than these two guys. Now, the ranking of that person will not be three. It will be two. That is, we are here we are going to use the dense rank function because it is the most suitable here as per the requirement. So dense rank, we need to calculate the dense rank, right? Now in the output section, in the select statement, we need to print the rank, the guest ID and the total messages that they exchange, right? Now let's go back to the data set. So here we have these data points. So now in order to calculate rank, we need to rank based on the number of messages exchanged with the host. That is we are going to use the number of messages between a host and a guest, right? So now for these three columns that we want to print, these two columns are already available as it is. And in order to calculate rank, we are going to use number of messages. So guys, at the first glance, it might have seemed to you a difficult problem because of the number of data points available with us. But if we are good enough to break the SQL problem, then writing the final query will not be a challenge. That is why I always write some pointers and I will be referring these pointers while writing the final SQL query. Also, it is mentioned over here that order by the highest number of total messages first. That is, we need to sort our records with respect to the number of messages in the descending order. So let me write it here as well. 
सो ऑर्डर बाय नंबर ऑफ मैसेजेस डिसेंडिंग सो गाइज लेट स्टार्ट राइटिंग आर फाइनल क्वेरी सो इन दिस सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट द गेस्ट आई डी एंड द डेटा पॉइंट अगेंस्ट गेस्ट आई डी इज दिस वन दैट इज आई डी अंडर स्कोर गेस्ट सो गाइज बी केयरफुल वेल राइटिंग द कॉलम नेम एल्स इट कैन गिव एन एर फॉलोड बाय रैंक एंड वी ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज डेंस रैंक फंक्शन सो डेंस अंडर स्कोर रैंक ओवर ऑर्डर बाय नाउ वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड द डेटा पॉइंट अगेंस्ट विच we are going to rank our data right so we are going to use sum of n underscore messages we are taking sum because a single guest might have exchanged messages with the n number of host that is why we are taking sum with respect to the guest id now we want to take descending as the order right let's give it an alias say let's say rn right now the third column that we want to print is total messages that they have exchanged that is we are going to take the sum of number of messages as total messages followed by from now we have to mention the name of the table so it's airbnb underscore contacts right and since we are using an aggregate function that is sum and we want to take this sum with respect to the guest id so we are going to use group by so group by id underscore guest it will give us the count of messages with respect to the guest id and the final part here is that we want to sort our records with respect to the number of messages descending so i will be writing order by this column that that is total messages right and it will be descending so now let's execute this to see the output all right so guys here we are getting three columns the guest id the ranking and the total messages so you can see here that we have provided the ranking so if the total messages exchange is same for two different guest ids then we are going to use the same rank right and if the third id which is this one has the second highest number of messages exchange so we are going to give it rank 2 instead of rank 3 right so this way we can attempt this problem and other problems of similar nature so thank you for watching this video guys and if you like this video do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel analytics with vipul for more videos like this also if you have any problem statement and you want me to make a solution video on that do share it with me on in the comment section below also you can reach out to me on my whatsapp linkedin instagram and all the details are mentioned in the description below So guys thank you for watching this video stay tuned for the upcoming videos and happy learning